There are many ways to spend this fine afternoon in the Panamanian jungle, and I chose to make Syngas. In this video, I'll go over all the major pieces that make up my Syngas pyrolyzer and produce some gas. For reference, this is the reaction that I intend to perform. Carbon and water vapor react at a high temperature to produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. This product is often called synthesis gas because of its usefulness in chemical manufacturing. This is the forge I found on Not Huck and Light's YouTube channel. It's just a bread tin with a pipe out the side fixed in place with cement. And um, to make the air come out in a more laminar fashion rather than blow holes through the coals, um, I just put some rocks in here. This is my custom cement brick. Its use is pretty self-explanatory as you'll see later. The reaction chamber is a standard piece of two inch pipe uh, threaded on both ends for the two caps. And the only other thing I did to it was um, put some mesh in here to keep any coals from getting wedged in the um, outlet hole because that could cause a problem with the steam pressure. This is the water boiling section. I modified an old alcohol burner to um, adapt to a copper pipe which goes over to, to a steel cap that goes to the reaction chamber back there. And I put some pink insulation to keep the water vapor from condensing as it cooled as it ran through the pipe just to minimize the amount of water in the reaction chamber. This is just a soup can stove here and it is what boils the water for the reaction. The output side of the reaction chamber is just um, a copper pipe that goes out and can bubble out into a bucket or fill a container. With all parts present, I begin putting together the reactor. Steam will flow from the water boiler into the reaction chamber where red hot anaerobic coals await. There they react and the product is pushed out by the incoming steam. At the moment, the output line goes into a water bucket. Now that I know how the setup fits on the table, I fill the reaction chamber with charcoals. I weigh the charcoals for scientific purposes and there are 19 grams. Now that the whole setup is ready, I'm going to fire it up. I set up this fan to clear out any escaping gas because it contains a high fraction of carbon monoxide. I've seen videos where people up north just throw some kindling on wood and it ignites. Here, the humidity dampens the wood to the point that quick ignition is a laughable pipe dream. The charcoals are more fun to light. I just turn on the air, light one coal, and let the action happen. Some kind of gas coming out, I don't know, I still don't know what that is. Probably regular wood guys. That's good. The water is warming up here and the steam will run through the hot pipe when it starts coming and it will start bubbling out down here. And now we wait. Here it goes. After halting the reaction, I placed a balloon over the outlet and filled it. One balloon of toxic gas, look at that. I should have been wearing gloves here, but I couldn't leave this clip out. Now that was spectacular. <laughs> Perfect. Yippee! Yay! I noticed that the balloon was trying to float a bit, which makes sense because of the hydrogen. Yeah, definitely. Carbon monoxide is also allowed in air, but by a smaller margin. In between the first balloon and the second, we noticed that the gas output was greatly diminished. We managed to take out the pipe and I weighed the remaining charcoals. There were still 16.7 grams. My best guess is this. 
When the pipe is freshly filled, the steam is forced to come into contact with many coals. But, as the reaction happens, I think that a path of less resistance is created that allows the steam to just pass through unused. Only been used. I put in 19. You mismeasured. That's about it for today. I have plans for what will hopefully be an even hotter and more efficient forge using the principle of countercurrent heat exchange. I hope you all enjoyed seeing how the sink estuator works, and please give me any suggestions and let me know if you've done this yourself. Bye.